Why play Riven Top? Well, she has very high mobility, she has amazing outplay potential, she can snowball games hard, and she's good at split pushing and team fighting. However, she can take some time to learn with her animation cancels, and she does rely on damage struggling hard from behind. Riven's passive is after using an ability, she gains a stack of her passive, which is shown as a bar under her health bar, and she can store up to three at one time. These stacks enhance her next basic attack to deal additional damage consuming the stack. Riven's Q has three activations. The first and second activation causes her to step forward and deal damage in a cone in front of her. However, the third use causes her to jump in the air before slamming down and knocking up enemies dealing damage. This third use of the Q can also be used to jump over some of the smaller walls on the map. Riven's W damages and stuns all enemies in a circle around her. Riven's E causes her to dash forward and gain a decent sized shield. The size of the shield increases the more attack damage Riven buys. Riven's ultimate can be activated to give her bonus attack damage, attack range on her attacks, and also additional attack range on her abilities for 15 seconds. During this time, she can reactivate her ultimate to throw out a long range cone skill shot in front of her. This deals damage, with the damage being greatly increased the lower the target's health. For combos, you want to use E then auto attack, W then auto attack before using all three of your Qs making sure to auto attack in between each. The use of the auto attacks in between each ability can be done incredibly quickly. As soon as the damage goes off for the auto attack you can activate your next ability to cancel the animation. Also if you have your ultimate available this can be used at the start for a massive amount of extra damage and then you can finish the combo with your execute. For matchups Riven does incredibly well into laners who simply want to scale out the laning phase. However she can struggle against the hardest lane bullies. For runes take this she possibly has the easiest time to proc conqueror out of any champion. For build orders that longsword and three pots into gore drinker, tier two boots and black Cleaver. After this, Death's Dance, more and Sterex are all great pickups before finishing a build with any of these. However, if you're going to be mainly split pushing and dueling, you can go for a Rav Hydra into Eclipse build, which does look more like this. For skill order, start Q, then E, then W before maxing Q, then E, then W, taking Alt whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Ignite. Starting the game, Riven is looking to win every single lane phase to snowball into a great mid game. From as early as level 1, having essentially 3 abilities with your Q combined with your passive makes you an absolute force. And if your opponent allows you to get on top of them, you can deal serious damage immediately. Otherwise, while farming hard, keep looking for windows to trade. Your high mobility with E gives you an easy engage and shield, and if you're able to cycle through your abilities, attacking between each, you'll deal serious damage. And between your shield, stun, and knockup, your opponent won't have many opportunities to trade back against you, and even when they can, your shield will mitigate the first chunk of it. When you hit level 6, you now have serious kill threat and want to look for any opportunity to all in and outplay your opponent. So keep looking for windows where they overextend or use their abilities foolishly. Entering the mid game, Riven is great at both split pushing and grouping for fights. Look to take your tower as soon as possible and push out your lane as far as you safely can. From here, either keep split pushing to create massive amounts of pressure on the map, or group with your team for an objective and look to take skirmishes. Entering the late game, it is incredibly viable as Riven to keep split pushing. However, as you don't take teleport, make sure you split push the same side as the objective. This way, if a fight starts, you can flank onto it. Entering late game team fights, you want to play a sort of hybrid between a bruiser and assassin. All your damaging abilities deal amazing AoE damage and great utility. So, if you're able to get on top of multiple enemies with your Qs, your stuns, and your execute, you'll deal insane damage. Play the bruiser role damaging their frontline until you get your opportunity to dash straight through them and destroy their team with AoE damage. 